Hi everyone, this is Bibi's Boutiques and it's me Amy and happy Friday to everybody. Today I wanted to show you guys my makeup for today. I went with the more neutral look today and I didn't really kick it on. I went more relaxed look also so it looks like I'm all dolled up. I am I'm not wearing lashes today and the only thing that makes me look like I'm totally dramatic is my eyebrows, which I did myself with new stuff that I got yesterday. And I curled my hair and I'm wearing my savvy blouse from Nordstrom's. And I have a little headband on so it looks really cute. No eyelashes today, so I wanted to go very natural, very neutral. So let me show you guys what I ended up using. I went with my new stuff that I just recently got from Walgreens and I am, let me show you this, with this. Okay, uh, for my under eye concealer, I'm using this CoverGirl in Olay and my color that I use is light, it's a 10. And it's a cream base, smells really good. I use the foundation also, but today I wanted to try something different, but I went with this concealer today. And we're in the underneath. And you can put it anywhere that you need to hide something up. I put a little bit on my little spots I have here, little freckles there, my birthmark, all that. So I'm using this. And I also use this CoverGirl No Lace little concealer balm. And this works really nice. It actually, is, it's a little thick, but very creamy. It smells wonderful. And I put a little bit, again, over here, kind of under my eyes a bit, just over here on my freckle area. And now I'm also, right afterwards, I like to put my foundation. So since I didn't use my liquid foundation, I went with the Milani. So my daughter's name is Milan, so it's kind of funny that it's Milani. And it was this one, I think. Yeah. This is a cream to powder makeup, and the color is Buff Number 9. It has a nice smell to it. Actually, it smells really good. It comes in this really amazing gold compact, and it has its little puffer. It just, I just love it. It smells so good. I love things in gold. So yeah, I love gold. But I like to wear silver, so. <laughs> but I love gold. So anyways, I use this, and it goes on. It looks real thick, okay? It's really creamy. You put it on, and it just like melts into your skin. So I just put that on all over, and just kind of pat it down. And then I finish it off right afterwards. I use my powder and I'm using their brand Milani's also powder foundation so oh, excuse me my nose is a bit runny this morning it's been weird it rained so weird yesterday it was not supposed to rain and it just started to rain out of the blue and it was hot and warm and gross and like a monsoonal flow and now it's like hot outside and so my allergies are kicking up so I'm like like my nose is like running and it's weird from one nostril which is totally weird so anyways um I use the powder and also comes with a puff in there and it smells so good okay, all over and it gave me great coverage I like to blend it down just so that it all looks even right after that I actually the first very first thing I did was my eyebrows first but I'll we'll go to the end of that and that's probably a little bit so we ended up well I we okay I ended up using a bronzer I got this one also and it's called a wet n wild color con bronzer SPF 15 and it's just a basic light bronzer and I use this and it doesn't smell like anything and it just goes on real sh like a light hue of glow here on the cheekbones this is where I like to add it that's where I applied it here and then a little bit over the brow bone and then I ended up using, right afterwards, um, the Wet n Wilds by Fergie. And it goes, it's like cashmere. It's really nice. It, it's like you can't even see it. You can't even feel it. But when you put it on, you can tell. And it just looks so good. Highlights and contours. And then after that, I ended up using my Illuminating Face Power also by Milani. It smells really good. And I put that also here on my cheek areas. So it gives more highlight. And I to compare, I put a little bit on my hand of my Max Mineralizing um, Skin Finish Shimmer. And it looks almost the same, so I didn't even have to use that. Now, I did use for my blush, I think the only blush that I ended up using, because this also has a little bit of a pink tone to it, was my Max uh, 
mineralized blush and it's in warm soul and I just put a little bit here on the side not too much so I went really neutral today just because it's Friday and I want to, I always like to do something dramatic on Friday so it's either I do something crazy with my hair or I do something crazy with my eyebrows I like to shape my eyebrows differently I can get this shape whenever I feel like it or I can change it up whenever I want to so right now I'm rocking this because I really like this look and um, my eyeshadows they're all by Milani I love their brand now. I love the name. That's my daughter's name. Just, you know, but her name is just Milan. So Milani's brand is awesome. Um, I got all these eyeshadows the other day at Walgreens. And I have some other ones that I have bought before. But these are the ones that I am currently using. And my neutral look today, I am using the light pink color. It's called Runaway Eyes. You can use it wet or dry. If you want to use it wet, get your brush wet first. Pat it on your hand, dip it in, and you get more of a dynamic color. If you want to just do it dry, just go with your brush with the dry end and put it all over. That's what I'm using the dry look. I didn't want anything dramatic. And this one is uh, Girls Love Pink. So I used pink all over. And I'm using the brown one for the contour and it's called Beach Sand. And I put that in the corner of the eye all the way around that way. And to make the little corner stick out just a little bit more to give more depth to my eyes, I'm using my Maybelline Expert Eyes in, I believe it's called Cinnamon, and it's a matte. There's so, so many different kinds of eyeshadows out there, and if you're new to the whole thing, you're probably wondering, what am I going to use? I want to use something cool, look something fun, something fabulous. They got them with shimmer, they have them in matte. They have them in a cream base. They have them even in a pencil. They have them in so many different ways. But today I ended up using the shimmer and I went with a matte look. So like I said, I want to go for a more neutral look today. And usually I use the ones that have like a cream and it, like a cream based one and it feels real good. But And it smells nice too. So I use a little bit of this on the contour here on the corner. Brought it down a little bit up. And then I use my blending brush and I blend that in a little bit. After I was done with all that... I did my eyelashes and I could put my eyeliner on or I could curl my eyelashes. I'm using, um, it's a tweezer man and I got this one at Target and it only cost me $4 and it came with uh, three little refills. So it's really nice and I use this. Oh, and always make sure that when you're going to do your eyelashes, doesn't matter even if they're the fake ones or you curl them afterwards, if you're going to curl any time, make sure you clean your tweezers or whatever they call them, your things because they can have leftover gunk from before you don't want to get an eye infection never share with anybody because then you can get pink eye and always try to change these up I think like every two or three months you just put a new one in there and they're easy to do um and I have to change mine soon because I think it's starting to get a little old there yeah and make sure you have your little soft pad in there because if you don't you're gonna chop those babies off and I have done it before that I was cleaning it and I'm thinking okay I'm ready to go and <laughs> I had like one whole thing gone and it's horrible I'm thinking oh my gosh it feels weird like I, what do I do so I just like glued on some fake lashes and let my eyelashes grow in and it took like two weeks before they actually kind of almost started growing all the way so that was embarrassing so okay for my eyebrows uh, we did the blush. Okay, for the eyebrows, I am currently using for today, but this is what I usually use normally. It is an Estee Lauder automatic brush pencil duo. It's the pencil's on one side, and the brush is on the other side. And what the brush is for, which I never knew what it was for, I thought it was to put your lipstick on when I was little. I was like, what is that for? Okay, so you put your pencil on, and then you feather it out to get a more smoother line and now that's amazing okay so what I use um, what I'm using today is uh, this one and I think it's a soft brown and you can refill these things if I can pull it out of there it comes like this and the color is soft brown it's real nice you pop it in there and then you twist it and you go so I just put that in there and fill in all my little gaps because I have a lot of gaps here and uneven parts over there so I did that and then I brushed it to even it out after I was done with that I ended up putting 
because I still have some gaps and I want a more of a straight line. I do two different things. I'm using the e.l.f. Um, eyebrow kit. It comes with a little brush too, which I took it out. It has a little great little mirror in there so you can, you know, do it. You know, it's real nice. I see myself in there. There you go. So yeah. Um, and it comes with a wax and then it comes with the powder. And I'm like wondering, well, how did I do this? You know, so you have to practice. And practice makes perfect because you never know how it's ever going to turn out. And it never, ever really turns out the same every time. It always looks a little different. No matter how many times you do it the same way, it always comes out a little different. So I'm using this. Um, it's, this is a um, Sonia Kashuk. I think it is. I got this from Target. I bought a whole bunch of different brushes one time because I just wanted to try something new. Um, and this one says brow and eyeliner. So obviously you know which side is which. And I use this part. I dip it into the wax. And it's it's not it's not too dark. It's actually just enough color for me. And I think they have different colors. But basic color is the darker brown or the brown color because almost everybody's eyebrows are a bit brown. So, um... I dip that in, I put it in all the way through, fill it up a little bit, the areas, kind of straighten out my area here. And then when I'm done, I take the other end, dap it into the powder part, and then I put it in, you know. And then you just kind of fill it up all the way through. It kind of gives it a nicer color. It seals your wax and it seals the color in there and you'll wear it for the rest of the day. And then you're done. So that's... What I use, and I have a just a brush brush. This is by House of Beauty, and I got this one at Ralph's, I think it was, because they had a big sale. And I just kind of like wipe up whatever's left there. Now, to make that great edge, I have another makeup that I probably put away, and I don't know what I did with it. Hold on one second. I'm so sorry. Well, I don't know what I did with it. Oh, I put it back. Hopefully my thing doesn't move. I'm trying to prep this up on... A pillow because I'm on top of my bed okay um this is my everyday makeup that I wear all the time um I like I said I'm a Mac girl 100% I love Mac I wear everything Mac but I love to just go to you know a drugstore and buy every kind of makeup imaginable and just have it and play with it all day long because that's what girls do we do dress up and we like to play with the makeup so why not right so this one ended up being something that I wanted to try because I had uh, one year, one summer, I had a lot of freckles and I didn't know what to do with them because it's all the sunspots, all the sun damage because I didn't wear like SPF anything when I went to the beach so I had a lot of spots. So I ended up finding this one and this one I got it. I, I, well, I've re-got this one at Walmart, but um, they have them everywhere. It says a CoverGirl Ultimate Finish Liquid Powder Makeup. And it's really good. And the color I'm using is Classic Ivory. It comes with the, like this. I don't know, it's almost finished. Um, so it goes on really thick. I cover over my bean area. There you go. It goes on real thick. And it really covers everything up. It's uh, one of my favorite um, things. It smells really good. I love the way this thing smells. It's just delicious if you could eat it. It smells so good. I'd eat it up. So um, I use this and I cover everything. My whole face conceals. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. I would suggest you guys to go out there and try it. Um, you know, even for guys, too, you know, I'm um, not just going to be doing girl stuff. I'll tell you on uh, guy stuff, too. There's a lot of guys out there that actually wear makeup and you probably think, oh, it's gross. No, it's not because there's a lot of guys that I've known my whole life that have really bad freckles and that have really bad acne and they want to cover it up and they don't know what to do. And I'm like, I got to help these poor souls because they need help, you know. So, you know what? It doesn't hurt to go and get a little compact cover up some red spots, get something similar to your color, put a little, get a powder, and it works. You know, my son um, had a big old cut over here on his face because he tried to want to try to shave, and we had to cover that up. I put a little bit of, just a little bit of make a little cover, and it was good. Nobody could tell anything. Like, my husband had some, a box fell on him at work, and it landed over here in his eye area, and it looked like he had a black eye. I went and got him some makeup covered up. You could not even tell this. Nothing happened to him. And it looked good. So, I mean, it's great. You know, it doesn't hurt to have a little makeup. Somebody says, oh, well, you have makeup in your thing. If you're a dude, you're like, um, can't explain why. I just like to look good, okay? <laughs> so, it's not bad, okay? So, yeah, this is, uh, I use, usually use this all over. But, like I said, for my eyebrows, I, um, 
well, I don't have my brush, but well, I'll just use the same one like this. Um, I get my brush and I take the, I have a, well, where the heck is that brush? If I showed it to you guys, you would like, be like, oh, okay, I know what kind of brush I need to get. I have so many brushes and I don't, to tell the truth, I really don't know what I did with it. Oh, there it is. Okay. This is also by Sonia Kashuk. I have, it's the rounded and a pinchy kind of one. So what I do is I take my color and I take the white end and I put it all underneath, above and around. And I kind of blend that up around it to get that smooth finished edge. And I take the corner and I dip a little bit into the product and put it up underneath and finish off the line and get it all in there. And once it looks really good, then I take my powder or whatever powder you're using. And uh, I would suggest not using the brush and going like that. You might rub it all off. Get your powder puff. You know, you can get these for like 99 cents a 99 cents store and you get like a bag of 30. You know, just if you don't have one and you just have the brush, just get a little bit of that. Dab it into your product and kind of pat it all around it, even on it. And then when you're done, go over it with a little bit of the brush to uncover some of your color on your eyebrow. And if you have to, go over with your um, eyebrow stuff, powders and stuff, and put it a little bit more on there. And you're done, and you get that nice, amazing, flawless edge that like everybody out there has. And I'm wondering, how the heck do they have it? And I can't do it. <laughs> so now you know one of the trade secrets and I am just wearing um, my falsies by Maybelline and this one is a uh, very black mascara and it's not waterproof I like waterproof but I like also the regular and uh, the difference for me for my waterproof and that is that when I put waterproof on and I want to take it off later besides the fact it doesn't want to come off it just feels gunky and it feels kind of gunky on there anyways for me when I'm wearing waterproof and it feels like the color doesn't come out as as bright as I want it to be as dark and dynamic it's like not exactly black even though it's very black it just doesn't seem like it to me but I like just the regular one and I'm wearing no lashes so I'm wearing this right now and it gives it like more lashes it like it adds more lash to it and I, I really like it. it's like today like I said I'm going a very neutral look I'm not getting all dolled up crazy here today but I mean it looks dolled up I curled my hair today so that is it for this video guys um so yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like rate and subscribe and I will see you guys again in the next video and I hope everybody has a great Friday and check out my other channel my craft channel it is Bijou Violet 1203 and I do duct tape crafts if anybody's interested in that I probably will be uploading a haul later on today on that channel so anyways guys thank you all for watching and I will see you soon